Happy holidays. You've made it through the year. Sometimes that can be hard. Some years are worse than others. But it's been kind of feeling like you can easily focus on all of the bad of recent times. So let's get into some unbridled joy. Here's why I love Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. This really feels like a meme kind of game. The basics of it are, you have a body of water, and over time, a meter fills up, giving you new rubber duckies. I mean, there's more to it, but if you booted it up for five minutes, that's what you would see. So how if I put nearly eight hours into this, with plans to put more time in? And how is this joyful? Well, it is quite satisfying to see your ducks float around the pool. Once you get a few, you can see how they interact with each other. It is just fun to see them bounce into each other, changing speed and direction. But there are more complicated things that the ducks can do. However, you should see that for yourself. And I may accidentally show off some of the weirder events, because this game is nearly 100% random. But also, the ducks can go on their own little journeys. The first level has a main pool with a slide to a lower pool and a tube back up. The other maps have more paths and places for the ducks to go, and it's fun to see which one will go down whatever special path they take. Since this game is all about waiting, this is a good game to watch while doing a second task. Maybe you're like me and even though you want to watch that YouTube video, you need to fiddle with something. Like quacking a duck by clicking? It is a great game for watching some kind of long-form video, listening to a podcast, or maybe you're playing another slow-paced game, like an idle game or something. If you have someone to show this game to, that will only increase your joy. I streamed this game for a group of friends, and they were excited to see the new ducks dropping in, any interactions, or the silly names that I've given the ducks. Oh yeah, you can name your ducks. I hope that you have a friend group that would enjoy seeing this for a night of chatting or whatever. Every piece of this game, all put together, right now, costs $16 full price. That's the base game, the soundtrack, and the five DLCs. I guess I'm not incredibly excited about a game that is cut up into DLC like this, but when each one is $2 at full price, it's not so bad. It isn't like one of those train simulators with like $5,000 worth of DLC. But, if you just want to try this game out, the base game is also $2, so it's not a great loss if you're not that into it. Plus, if you don't like it within the first two hours, you probably just won't like this game, so you could refund it. But, a lot of other people agree with me. Unless the reviews are just totally filled with meme reviews? Even if the reviews are all memes, a thing that can sometimes make Steam reviews unusable, I am being 100% genuine. This game is just cute and fun, and showing it to someone else who will laugh with you is a wonderful time. I was struggling in the final third of this year. Things just kind of turned to shit, if I'm being honest. I think I have fundamentally recovered from all that stuff now, but this game really brightened my mood while I was on the mend. I don't think there's anything wrong with finding a fun time in something so silly and frivolous. And, despite me hating the dollar-to-hours evaluations of games, this is a great deal even if you only play it for an hour. Maybe you've had a struggle of a year. Things might not have gone your way. I hope that your next year is better. Even though there's no real distinction between years in terms of having to live your life. So, ideally, I hope if you're having any level of a bad time, it starts turning around right now. Part of my struggles for this year really impacted my mental capacity for writing. I had intended to make a video about my favorite games of the year, just like previous years, but at some point I just kind of stopped keeping track, despite playing a few really good games that would fit into a video like this. Ender Lily's Fist, Forged in Shadow Torch, which is not a great name. Hi-Fi Rush, Terranil, and Kentucky Route Zero are all games that would fit into a video like that. Kentucky Route Zero is maybe my favorite game I've played this year. I didn't even really play many of the games that came out in this year, other than Hi-Fi Rush, which was great. Lots of great games this year. I'll be sure to play them sometime in the next five years, knowing me. When I realized that I wasn't going to be making a video on my favorite games I played this year, I tossed a few ideas around, and I'm not sure if some of them will work, but maybe in the future. I do have a project that I've been thinking about for a long time. The goal will be to get that video out by the end of 2024, so at the end of that year, let me know how I did. Hopefully you'll get to see it. Wow, this video really got away from me. I just want to share a message of positivity to end this year. 
Part of that involves finding the joy where you can find it. As Bobcat Goldthwait said to Space Ghost, You gotta make your own fun! Space Ghost? Great. You gotta make your own fun! But other than that, I know some things in the world haven't been looking so great. There has been progress that you may have missed. The news just doesn't like to tell you about good things in tiny increments. But on top of all that, I hope you do whatever you need to for your own happiness. Maybe don't do a New Year's resolution. Just focus on smaller, short-term goals, because if you break something large into little bits, completing those bits will feel great, and you'll still be working on progress to your overall goal. There was a YouTube video a friend showed me a while ago about making themes for the gear. So as long as you're putting in any work into that theme, you're successful. Instead of saying you'll lose 15 pounds and feel bad when you inevitably don't. My theme of 2023 was movies. I did end up watching about 130 or so films this year, so that sounds like a success to me. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Feel free to leave a question in the comments of this video, and I'll do my best to answer it in the next video. So join me next time for a much more focused video about a specific game. It will not go off the rails.